project already done you can open that or you can create new Then click on DC generator, connect to the VCC. Click on the terminals mode, take ground and the ground. Then, so these connections are over. Next, what you to do? You need to double click on DC source. Configure test. Right? So now, what should I do? I need to find out where is channel 3. Where is channel 3? Where is channel 3? P0.30. This is channel 3. So here, you are going to connect what? Potentiometer. So for taking potentiometer, again, Click on component mode. Whatever component you need to take, you need to click on component mode. Then pick from libraries. Here you need to search POT hyphen HG. High granularity interactive potentiometer. POT hyphen HG. Double click on that. So that will be added that you can keep it here. And I told your center point only should be connected to this. Right. But your center point and now it is pointing towards other side. So what you should do? Right click on this. Give X mirror. Right click on this. Click on X mirror. So in X axis, X mirror will be performed. Right. So then the center point you can connect it to channel 3. Right. And where, what will be the connection for other two ends? What you should connect here and here? Ground and DC source. So again, you can take generator mode, take DC, connect it here. Double click on this, give it as 3.3. Right. Other end, click on terminals mode, take ground, keep it here. So, for the actual potentiometer you have seen, three pins will be there. One pin will be connected to VCC. Other pin will be connected to ground. Sender pin you need to give it to channel. LED is not required. Here itself we can see. Because it is connected to port 1. Red or blue color you can see here. Now you can load the program. So, double click on this. Make the crystal frequency as 12 megahertz. Program file, you can go to your project file, um, peripherals, pjt hex. Then you can give OK. Can you need to give program file and the clock frequency as 12 megahertz. Then finally, you can give run. So now you can see these are the 10 LEDs. When you are clicking on this small arrow, up and down arrow, you can see the value will be changing. When you are taking the to the topmost position, you will be getting all ones. When you are keeping at the middle, what value will you be getting? When you are keeping at the middle, what you, what value will get? Zero and seven ones. Because whenever you are adding MSB, you are multiplying it by one. Right. So the last bit will be zero. All the other bits will be uh, ones. Bit number 24 will be, or the last bit will be 0, MSB bit will be 0, all the other bits will be 1s. Right.